What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and in today's video, I got some RC news for you. So I have not done RC news in a little bit. Uh, work and everything has gotten a little hectic, a little crazy at work and everything. So I'm trying to come up to speed with the RC news. Uh, I apologize for anybody and everybody that is waiting for RC news to be coming out. But guys, sorry. Uh, work has been getting in the way. <laughs> so... The first thing that I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about in RC News is this bad boy right here from LC Racing. They have come out with a new rally car kit. So this thing is a kit. It is a one ten scale four wheel drive rally car. Uh, as you guys can see here in this picture, let me maximize it here for you. It's got some nice looking tires. It has a dust uh, cover on it and it just looks awesome. Um, I really like the way this thing looks. It has the wheel wells going along it. It has some nice travel. If you guys can see from the fenders to the wheels, it's got some pretty nice travel in here. Um, it looks like it also brings the mud flaps. You got the suspension back here. And uh, this is called the PTG-2R. I'm guessing R is for rally. Um, here you go. You got your foam front bumper here. It looks like a carbon... Um, Suspension mount in the front or shock tower in the front here. Uh, looks like you got another carbon fiber shock tower in the rear. You have a pin right there for the uh, dust cover to get put on. And here it is without the dust cover on. Uh, I'm guessing right in here in the middle is where the shaft is going. Uh, for the drive shaft and as you can see right there it looks like that's a drive shaft in red there is a lot of carbon fiber in this thing guys um, I'm guessing this is for the transmission where the motor is going to be going in um, here we go the dog bones for it C hubs or whatever you want to call it here's your pinion um, don't know what that is here's your shocks and here's your gearing. So it does not look like it is a lock diff. These tires look really sexy. I kind of like, really like these tires. The whole car just looks sexy. <laughs> it just looks sexy. Uh, so here, let me get back in here again. Uh, so basically, I just went through all these pictures here. So the features on this thing is LC Racing Engineered Rally Tires, Aluminum Oil Fill Threaded Shocks, Front and Rear 3mm Carbon Fiber Shock Tower, which is new, Front and Rear Oil Filled Competition Grade Diffs and Metal Gears, Aluminum Center Prop Shaft, uh, Steel Hinge Pins 2mm Anodized Aluminum Chassis with Front and Rear Kick Up and Side Guards, 12mm Hex Adjustable Spring Steel Arm Mounts, Anodized adjustable 7075 T6 aluminum motor mount, which is new. Clear car polycarbonate chassis inner mud cover, which is what I showed you guys there. That cover, uh, foam front bumper, easy access spur and pinion gear covers, front and rear rebuildable CVA type drive shafts. So that's very nice, the fact that they are rebuildable. Uh, removable ESC tray, front and rear mud guards, flap set. Uh, 27, I'm sorry, 24 to 48 pinion, I'm guessing, <laughs> uh, pinion gear. Oh, I'm sorry, 24 to 48 pitch pinion gear, floating servo mount, and a grade 12.9 alloy steel screws. The specs on this thing is, of course, a 110 scale, 370 millimeters in length, 185 millimeters in width. 
257 to 262 millimeter wheelbase. So are you able to minimize and extend the wheelbase on this thing? Uh, we'll have to find out. Uh, Pre-mounted rally tires, uh, reduction, reduction ratio 2.5 to 1 ball bearing. It have, comes with full ball bearing set. The only thing you're going to need for this thing is a 540 size motor. People might end up going brushless, uh, ESC, a battery pack, servo, transmitter and receiver, and of course, a RC body, rally car body. And here on the bottom, there we go. Here is a, as you guys can see, there's a brushless motor there. But there was something else that I wanted to show you guys. So you can pick this bad boy up at lcracing.net right now for $369. And I'm just going to go back because I saw this one body while I was here. Um, that right there, the Lancia body. If I were to get this car, more than likely I would end up getting that body for that car. So moving on to the next item on the list is from Castle Creations. They have come out with a brand new brushless motor, 1721-2400 kV brushless motor. Apparently this is for extreme speed setups. So as you guys can see here in this picture, these guys are, apparently they have done 180 miles an hour with this, uh, with this motor which is awesome um it can run up to an as lipo in one eighth and one seven scale vehicles the mechanical design boosts a stainless steel sleeve to reinforce and strengthen the rotor for high rpm operation coupled with a massive eight millimeter stainless steel motor shaft eight millimeter bullets and high strand low resistance silicone coated eight gauge copper wire with 1717 2400 kv Will deliver massive power and maximum top end speed so if you guys are looking for something uh this might end up working good in an x max or a uh, as Creighton, um or just something that you want to go crazy with and just get top speed or something this will probably end up doing it for you uh apparently i'm going to show you this one picture that i saw earlier and this thing is pretty jigujig. It's big. <laughs> so in this picture right here, you guys can see the 1721 2400 kV motor in this person's hand. And it seems to be a pretty big ass motor. Um, you guys can go onto Castle Creations website, go onto their YouTube page, and you guys can see the 180 miles an hour that they did with this uh, motor with the 1721, 290 kilometers per hour. Um, yeah, this thing is going to be uh, <laughs> pretty badass. Now, price wise, I don't know. So let's go here to surface. Got the Mamba. I just want the motor there, bud. Sidewinder. That's not the motor. That's not the motor. So you're probably going to be looking at around, that's a 2028, 1650, 1800. So, lo, 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 lo. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's go here. That's the 800 kV. So the 800 kV is about $250. Uh, for this one, you're probably going to be looking at about like three something for it. I'm not 100% sure, but that's probably what you're going to be looking at for this motor and i'm still trying to look around here for the price we've outlined important product information as well as detailed specs on this motor here so let's go check out the specs on this thing all right 1721 
I was looking up at the wrong uh, spots. So this is probably going to be like a 200 and some odd dollar motor. Um, here we go. $239.95. You can pick this up on Castle Creations website right now. If you're looking to get some speed, this is going to be the motor that you are going to want to get. Um, I mean, I don't have anything that I could throw that into. I'm looking at all my rigs and I don't really have anything that I can throw that into, but somebody looking for something for speed, this is going to be it for you guys. So the next item on the list, what the heck is that? Uh, <laughs> Injura. So Injura has come out with high clearance uh, links for the SEX24. Uh, as you guys can see right here, they got them for the Deadbolt and the Betty. And here you have what you can pick them up for $15.99. You can get them in silver or in red. And here you have them for the C10 and the Wrangler for $16.99. And the same thing, you can get them in silver or in red. Um, so if anybody's looking to get any more clearance, higher clearance, ground clearance, geez, man, if anybody's looking to get uh, some more ground clearance out of their SEX24s, go to Endura's website. You see it here, $15.99 for the Betty, for the Betty and the Deadbolt, $16.99 for the C10 and the Wrangler. And I'm going to click on these because these things actually look pretty decent. I'll tell you what. These things actually look pretty decent. You got a 50 mil, 50 mil, 51 mil, 58.5, 58.5. Yo, I will tell you what, guys. These things look pretty damn good. They weigh 13 grams, which is 0.46 ounces. And you get in the package, you get one um set of links for the SEX24. Speaking of the SEX24 Proline, if you guys haven't seen it yet, Proline has come out with a body for the SEX24, which is right here, the 1978 Chevy K10 body. Guys, I love the C10. I love the way the C10 looks. But I really like this K10. <laughs> I really like this K10 body. The flares, the flares in the back here on the wheels, over the wheel wells, it's always been... I have always liked trucks with the big uh, flares in the back, with the big wheel wells, or fenders, you like to call it, with the short, smaller bed width. Uh, I have always liked these... This thing just looks awesome for a SEX24. So anybody that has like uh, two C10s or something and they want to change out one of their bodies, here you go. You got a K10. Uh, I don't know where I put mine. I actually picked up a Ford F350 or F450 body. The only issue I am having is that the C10 is a little bit longer. I think that... Uh, if I were to get, I don't know, maybe the deadbolt uh, links and shorten up the wheelbase a little bit, I might be able to fit that body on there. But I'm still, that's still a work in progress. But back to this. So Proline has this body, which I think looks absolutely amazing. This body just looks sweet. Here you got your stickers and everything for the body which I believe they did a pretty damn good job on this. Um, continuing with Proline, I'm sorry. Um, so you can pick up this body from Proline's website for $25.99. You have options here uh, for paints. So you can pick up paints while you're here, uh, tools, uh, body mounting kit. 
You got Sandy Drum, um, more Sandy Bands, RC Body Cleaner, um, Body Grip Tool, Detail and Spray. So you can pick up a couple things there and mounted tires. Oh, that's going to be my next thing that we are actually going to be talking about. So with this body that ProLine came out with for the SCX24, they have also released these 124th Hyrax front rear 1.0 tires mounted 7mm black impulse wheels and tires. These things are awesome. These things look badass. They look absolutely awesome, guys. And of course, as you saw it on the K10 that I was just showing you, those are the wheels. Um, yeah, I like them. <laughs> I really like them. Um, I think these would be a good looking, even on the C10, um, even on the C10, I think these wheels and tires are going to be a good, nice looking setup for the C10. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. You can go onto their website right now, ProLine's website, and pick up this set. I'm guessing you're going to get all four for astounding $26.99. I do not think that is a bad price. Uh, so, the key features on these wheels is the mini version of the extremely successful Hyrax tires. It's designed for maximum performance on any terrain, highly detailed sidewall for scale looks, mini version of the extremely popular impulse wheels, uh, true beadlock wheel design held together by three screws. In the box, you get four Hyrax 1.0 inch tires mounted on mini impulse black internal B lock seven millimeter hex wheels. So these are actually B lock wheels that you're getting for a great price of twenty six ninety nine. Uh, there you go. Those are the three screws that are holding it together. Seven millimeter hex, dude. For twenty six ninety nine for all four wheels, and these things actually look good. I might get it myself. Uh, Hey, they have them, as you guys can see right here, they got them in stock. So go to their site and pick yourself up a set. I actually might get these for my RGT, wherever that is. That's what I might do. I might pick these up for my RGT um, and see how much better the RGT handles um, and how much better it is going to be off-road with these tires because I have the SCX24. I actually swapped the SCX24 wheels and tires and the RGT. So I put the RGT wheels and tires on the C10, which I think look awesome, and the um, SCX24 wheels and tires on the RGT uh, Discovery that I have. And I think me swapping out, changing out the tires like that, I think it looks awesome. If I can find one, I'll put a picture up here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, but I might end up getting these set for my RGT. Uh, now, speaking of ProLine, again, you can pick these up for $26.99. <laughs> so continuing on with ProLine, they have come out with a new body, drag body for the like drag slash the low C22S, the, uh, the, the, the DR10 team associated, I believe, DR10. Um, and this body just looks freaking awesome, guys. So here we go. Boom. The Motown Mission Barracuda. It comes in black. As you guys can see, it comes in black. This is a... Don Carlton Motown Mission Barracuda. If you guys don't know who Don Carlton is, if you guys don't know this car, here is the original Don Carlton Motown Mission 
Barracuda. This thing was a freaking beast. I have never seen this thing run uh, in person, but this thing was a freaking beast on the drag strip. So Proline did right, and they made a body. Uh, this body goes for $67.99 on their website right now. Uh, as you guys saw in this one picture here, it does come in black. This thing just looks sick, man. You get all the stickers there. Where is that one picture? There we go. So it does come all in black, and then you get the stickers that you're able to put on it. And these wheels, they did a pretty good damn job. If you look at the this picture here, uh, you got the wheels here, and the, especially the front ones. Yes, the rears have more of a concave, not a concave, but more of a, yeah, more of a concave um, rear wheel, as in the Proline kind of does not a little bit. It does a little bit. Um, it looks like this one has more. But they did a pretty damn good job with the wheels and the um, with the wheels and the tires on here. So here you guys go. You got the tech right there. You got the Don Carlton stickers, and this thing is just bound ready to go, man. Pick it up for sixty seven ninety nine. It's officially licensed Plymouth and Motown missile, made from durable pre colored black polycarbonate. Includes highly detailed graphics to match the full-scale Motown missile. Uh, perfect for no-prep drag racing made in USA. In box, you get the body. You get a rear, the one-set rear wing hardware, which is that wing right there. And the detailed scale sheet. Um, I saw over here, overview. So here we go. So... This body does fit the Lucy, the Lucy 22S, the Slash Drag, and the, uh, um, Jesus Christ, the DR10. So, and it is officially licensed by Chrysler. So again, you guys can pick this up for $67.99 if you just want the body. If you want to make a whole complete replica of the Motown Missile, of course, you guys can always come here, pick up your tires, uh, belted tires, by the way, drag tires. Uh, you can pick up belted tires. You can get the drag wheels here, which here are the slot mags that this, uh, that this one actually has. Um, pick them up. You can get the uh, wheelie bar. For the slash and of course body accessories, magnet body, and the whole spiel like I just showed you guys with the uh, SEX24 body. Again, guys, this thing looks freaking awesome. I love this car. I do not have a drag car yet, but hopefully soon one day I will get one. <laughs> But as of right now, I do not. So, guys, that's pretty much all I have for you for RC News today uh, for this episode 7, I believe. Which I should be more into like 10, 12 episodes. But uh, stuff has just been getting crazy for me, guys. I apologize for taking so long with the RC News, and I thank you for coming back and watching the RC News, and uh, that's pretty much all I got for you guys. Uh, so if you could, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys in another video. You all have a good night.